Hello guys and welcome back to the video. In today's tutorial we're going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks to make your own Discord server as best as it can be. First, go down to the plus sign and press create server. We're going to be doing this on our phone since a lot of other YouTubers have done this, but it's all on the computer, so it's not oriented towards phone users. So we're going to be selecting our profile image right now, and I'm just going to select one image that's on my phone. Now, here's where you name your server, whatever you want it to be. Now, you don't have to be careful with naming it because you can change it later. You can quickly invite your friends by just pressing that green invite button. Now, your starter server is set up. Now, press those three dots and go to settings. Roles, remember, whatever you want to look at, it has it all. Um, so now we're just be making our first role and we're going to name it owner. And we're just simply going to change the color to something pretty, hoist it, and give it admin permission. Now we're going to make an admin role, which will just give our uh, server admins special name and color. With the administrator permissions, it allows them to have every single permission, and we also made it so people can mention them. Now here's where you can edit your um, permissions that everyone's going to have. So most of these I'm okay with having, but I would recommend turning off the at everyone and at here permission, because that keeps everyone from raiding your server and such. So that's all we have to do with setting up roles. Now, if we go back into settings, we can head on over to channels and create our own category. Now we're just gonna name this announcements, and then now we have it. Now if you press that sorter thing, you can sort categories, and you can set the announcements to be at the top as they're more important. Now we're gonna create some channels under this specific category. And we made the rules channel and then we're gonna edit it. Now when you add a role to it, you can simply just disable the messages and enable read. That's what I do. A lot of people decide to go through there and disable every single permission except for the ones that they're using. See, you don't have to do that unless it's different from what the role automatically has. Because if you have it in the middle where it's that gray line, it will go based off of automatically what your at everyone role has set. So just simply change, turn off things that you don't want on that are already on for them, and then turn on the things that are off if you want to turn anything off. But I would recommend editing the category because that then automatically changes the settings for every single channel under it. This way, when we create an announcements channel, we don't have to edit the permissions in it. And we can make many more channels and we can make them much faster without having to edit the permissions for every single one. Now we can go back in our server's setup. Now you can give yourself roles by pressing your um, logo and press the manage users. Now you can simply give yourself owner or admin permission or the roles and then it can change the name and colors of whatever the highest role of that source you have. Now you can simply look through all the settings. Discord has changed a lot and most of the computer settings are now in your computer. Now I like to turn off the welcome messages and change it so it sends only when boosting to the announcement channel because I had bots. I change the notifications to only at mentions so everyone doesn't get me message spams in their notifications. Now I recommend setting your moderation levels to scan media from all users and also make it so it scans people like um, they have to be a certain age on Discord to be able to chat. So now you can just go through your audit log and everything is there. You can then sort by things users did, and then also things that that user did, or just things done. Now you can add emojis from your phone, including uh, gift gifts. I think it's actually gifts. Anyways, you can also edit um, invites from your mobile device without having to go to your computer, manage bands, and you can even prune your users. That's basically all. Thank you guys for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials because this is what I like to do. Have a good day. Like I said, please subscribe. You can also delete your server.